beautiful. But on that note, white supremacy says the same thing. Look at these niggas destroying themselves, right? They don't like us. So when we do the work for them, oh, it, it's so beautiful for them. See, so like, I don't like Taharka and I don't like <laughs> Tariq. So them doing the work for me means I don't have to do anything. You niggas are slapping each other. Y'all suing each other. Y'all fighting each other. This is beautiful. So I'm, I'm happy. I don't have to do anything. I'm going to just sit back and watch them destroy themselves. You do know that's the same thing that the white folks do when it comes to black people. Just let them destroy themselves. And let them think that it's them. Let them think that it's all their idea. Let them think that they've done this shit. So let's talk about some of the disrespectful stuff that is coming out. We're going to talk about um, O'Shea Duke Jackson. He does a show called The Celebrity Junk. He has a channel called O'Shea Duke Jackson. He has quite a large um, following over on his channel. And he makes videos about stuff all the time. Sometimes they are right. Sometimes I, you know, I, I don't agree with him. But either way it goes, he doesn't really bother me. Sometimes I watch his shit and I be laughing my ass off, right? Um, but he made a video. And I want to say something that th this is first to the black men. Y'all be on some bullshit. Are, is he part of the manosphere? Is that what you guys are? This manosphere shit, right? I'm not really into all of that. But th th you're the manosphere, right? You niggas is dumb. Okay, all of you, if some of y'all in the chat, you about to get mad. It's okay. Be mad. It's all right. Because I'm going to talk about black women in a minute and the, the dumb shit that they doing. But you are stupid as hell. Because I've watched several of y'all, and, and, and O'Shea is the biggest one. But he made a video about New Era Detroit. Now, first of all, I'm from Detroit. Second of all, New Era and them are my people. Third of all, Zeke is like my brother. I can call him on the phone right the fuck now. And I don't appreciate you niggas taking something that they are doing that is great and turning it into some, I am uh, rejected by women because I'm an ugly ass nigga. I ain't never got no motherfucking counseling for all my issues. So I'm an emotionally child ass acting man. I've been hurt by a black woman. So I hate all black women. My mama used to beat my ass and my daddy wasn't there. So I hate you all ass niggas. I'm tired of y'all, right? So this is what y'all going to use to turn into your scenario. So you guys can go over there. I may even play a part of his video, um, but <clears throat> it's not necessary because I can sum up everything that he done said, right? So he takes, if you guys don't know, New Era um, has been out in the community in Detroit recently, okay? Um, they do this all the time. And as New Era, they do everything. New Era is actually our new Black Panthers, like the real new Black Panthers. No disregard to the Black Panthers who got their guns and everything. But if you understand the Black Panthers, that's not all that they were, okay? They were much more. So if you ask me, New Era is actually the new version of the Black Panthers in our community. They feed their communities. They clothe their communities. They give them financial resources and education. They deal with conflict resolution. They clean up their communities. They police their communities. They feed them. They go after the crime in their communities to make sure it is a safe place to protect those that live there. They do everything, okay? They, they um, have self-defense classes. They do it all. OK, to where it does have an effect in their community. Now, um, they recently have had some strings of, of crime going on in Detroit. Um, and a lot of these crimes were happening at a certain time of night. They were also happening at certain locations. Now, in Detroit, we have liquor stores, but our liquor stores are everything. So we go to liquor stores for so much more than just liquor, groceries, Whatever. It ain't got to just be liquor, right? Everything is in the grocery store. I mean, in the liquor store. And so um, at these liquor stores, in these gas stations, women are being carjacked, right? Because they're vulnerable people and they're the folks that they can get over on the most. Um, so New Era has gone around to all of the, the places, the, the liquor stores and the gas stations. And they basically told them that if you are going to do business these hours in our community, you are going to be required to hire a security person out here, okay? And all of these um, stores have said okay. And you know why they said okay? They said okay because Zeke will shut your shit down. See, unlike you manosphere niggas who always talking shit or Cynthia G who's always saying black men don't do nothing. See, Zeke and New Era have the respect of the whole motherfucking hood in Detroit. From the politicians, to the news anchors, they can call and be on the news in a heartbeat. They have done so much for the goddamn community and, and they do it in 16 damn cities. And they even have one in a, out, out in Africa, a chapter.
So on top of them requiring them to get some type of security, Zeke and the brothers that are the security for New Era go out and work that shift. They put on their bulletproof vests, they carry their legal firearms, and they go to these locations and they patrol them and help as well. They come into the stores, they say hey to the store owners, they build relationships with them, they make sure that everything is going good. So this nigga O'Shea Duke Jackson talking about Black men are out here pumping gas and carrying groceries for Black women. He turned it into a, you know, you know how niggas give you a, um, a backhanded compliment? So he says that he thinks what the brothers are doing good. He tells you that he sent them a cash app. Fuck you, boy. Let me tell you something. Between us and the community and the folks, we keep New Era with whatever New Era needs to get shit done. We're going to do it or not. So Zeke might appreciate your motherfucking donation. I'm going to say keep it, bitch, because it was the payment that you made to clout chase and use them to try and build your little scenario being a hurt ass broke man that can't get no motherfucking love in your life. And you are misrepresenting my brother wrong. He going to come out here and say that the black men are out there doing that for these women, but it's these single mother who put and Ray Ray's have fucked up the community so they're protecting them from their own children and that if we start doing this all over the place it might not be good because then it doesn't make women take accountability don't these women have husbands where are their husbands at? let me just give you the rundown of this dumbass fourth grade conversation. Where is their husbands at? And I mean, I, I respect what they doing, you know, so I put their cash app in the motherfucking description box and I sent them a cash app Right. But then he's saying he don't think it's a good idea. But let me just say that for men to gain back the respect from our women, maybe we do have to start doing this. So from that perspective, I think what they doing is a good thing. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, O'Shea. You know, I usually don't say nothing and be on me trying to beef with new people all the time. You too ugly to say anything to anybody. I'm serious. You one ugly motherfucker. And I really think that that's your problem. You done moved to Africa and nobody there even wants you. You was ugly here, you ugly there, and you just hurt because nobody wants your ugly ass. Let me say to you motherfuckers, my brother Zeke in New Era was not out there fucking carrying groceries and pumping gas. Don't misrepresent what they were doing, nigga. What they were actually doing is they were checking on those locations. And while they're there, just making sure the community is good, they're not sorry ass niggas like you, O'Shea, and the fucking Manosphere. So while they're there, guess what they do? It's cold outside. There's a lot of snow in Detroit. So they pump the gas. They carry the groceries. And you know who they do it for? For everybody. Now, a grown-ass man might not want their help, but if an elderly man like my uncle rolls up to that gas station, they're going to fucking help my uncle too, you dumbass motherfucker. So you sit here and diminish their program and say, you, you really think New Era got together and was like, oh, let's go outside and carry women's groceries and pump their gas. That's not why they were even there. But instead of just standing around looking tough with your guns and your just let me act like I'm police and shit, they actually care about their community. So anybody that they seen that may need that help, they did that for them. But you turn their let's protect our community. We always talk about how we have a lot of crime in our communities, yes? We talk about our babies that are out here being killed. We talk about cleaning up our own community before we talk about all of the violence and everything that is done against us from the hands of other people, yes? Yes, don't we say that? So now you have brothers out here that are doing exactly that and you sorry ass, need therapy motherfucking group of niggas wanted to use this and spend this about getting respect from black women? And then you sound dumb. The nigga gonna say, oh, these pookies and Ray Rays and where's these women's husbands? What? Are y'all really that dumb? How old are you, O'Shea? Are you really that dumb? What the fuck makes you think that every person coming through the gas station or the grocery store is a single mother? I just want y'all to let that sink in. You niggas is so jaded. The stuff you say don't even make no sense. Can we just think about that for a moment? Nobody is checking anybody's resume. Excuse me, ma'am, are you a single mother? So you think that that's all that live in Detroit? You do know that some of them people coming through the gas stations, the liquor stores are teenage children? Young boys 
because they protect the children too. Maybe some of them are elders. Plenty of these women have husbands. What do you mean where are their husbands? They're coming home from work. They didn't even know that Zeke and it would be at the gas station. And when they got there, the brothers are just checking, going store to store, business to business, making their presence known so that the criminals know their presence is there and they will stay away from those locations to make it a safer place. How do you know the young lady driving through is not a 20 year old that is at college out there and she's coming through to get some gas? I really want y'all to just let this sink in. Y'all too fucking grown to be having this conversation from such a narrow-minded fucking perspective. And it is disrespectful for him to take what these brothers are out there doing and try and fit it into your scenario and say that they just went out there and their program was to help women. It's not about women, nigga. It's about the community. It's about protecting anybody that's innocent. See, New Era believes firmly in, bitch, leave your beef with who your beef is with. Don't come over here robbing innocent people. Don't come over here selling drugs to women and children. If you got a beef and you want to beef with a nigga that's beefing with you, make sure your bullets hit your right target. See, New Era were the people that were there when the Asian man shot the little boy in his arm that came to get the bike out of his yard. Do y'all remember that? Well, that Asian man ain't never been back to his house even after he fucking bonded out. New Era made sure of that. New Era just went back even though that happened last summer and made sure that that baby was taken care of for Christmas because they care about their community. There was an elder woman that was in Detroit and somebody kept driving past her house just shooting it up because she was on a block that was mostly abandoned. She kept calling the police. They wouldn't do shit for her. You know who went inside of her house and caught that motherfucker so they could stop terrorizing this elderly woman? New era did. I want y'all to shut the fuck up. You can say what you want to say. You can talk all the bullshit you want to talk about black women. You can talk about how black women ain't doing what they're supposed to do and our babies are fucking up the community. But what you don't get to do is take the, the image of men who are actually doing what the fuck you niggas should be doing instead of crying about how women won't let you leave. See, a real man ain't waiting for a woman to let them leave. They just do what the fuck they do. And he said, I'm sure most of those women and people in that community are single mothers and they're not married in their kids. Let me let me tell you something, O'Shea, ugly ass Duke Jackson. Let me tell you something. All of those men that you saw live in that community, bitch. Because you spoke on them like, oh, in that community, that's their community. They're wives, because check this out. All those men that you saw out there with guns, I've met them. They're all married, motherfucker, to a black woman. See, they don't have problems finding women because they're the men they're supposed to be. And even in the midst of this ghetto where y'all swear everybody is a single baby mama of Pookies and Ray Rays, wow, it's amazing how all of those amazing black men have found wonderful black queens and they're married. They mamas drive through them gas stations, you stupid motherfucker. They cousins, they families, their wives, they live in that community. What the fuck do you mean, O'Shea Duke Jackson? And they're not doing it to gain respect back from black women. New era and everywhere they go, they have the respect from anybody they are around because of the way that they carry themselves. And I think that this is ridiculous that we do this shit and we turn these scenarios to fit our own views so that you could have some fucking views. You got people in the manosphere calling my brothers and them talking about, oh, they simping because they pumping gas for these single mothers. Do you know how jaded y'all sound like little ass boys? That ought to tell you that all of these man of, and manosphere niggas who say in this need counseling. You are so, I want you to think about this. Y'all are so traumatized that every black woman you see, all you ever see is a single black mother. Better yet, you see your single black mother who did something wrong to you. Or you see the single mother that's your baby's mama that you chose wrong and she won't let you be a part of your child's life. You keep seeing the women you chose and the mother that you had. Because you sound very jaded to not understand that every woman you see that's a black woman is not 
a single woman. They're not a baby's mama. Some of them are not mothers at all. Some of them haven't even gotten married. Some of them are just young children off to college. I know it's hard for you to believe that Black women go to college. They, I know you tend to think that Black women must not do nothing but just lay on their back and have babies, let you manosphere niggas tell it. I guess you niggas think that when it comes to Black women, nobody is somebody's grandma. They're not supposed to look out for the elders in the community. Y'all are so jaded that whenever you see somebody doing something that has to do with black women, all you see is the black women that hurt you. Something is wrong with you, niggas. And I don't care what you say. I'm going to tell you when it comes to that conversation of black men and black women, I'm sorry. I'm going to be a little bit harder on the men. And you know why I'm going to be harder on the men? Because you motherfuckers claim to be the leaders. And I don't see any other race of man talking about we need y'all to respect us and listen to us in order for us to be the men we need to be. I don't see any other race of man doing that. And for the black men that I know that are respected and everything that they need to be, they are the men they're supposed to be first. And when you project yourself and come across as the man that you're supposed to be, guess what? Everybody else will respect you as the man they see you as. All y'all black men keep talking about, oh, black women need to follow us. You need to, you need to listen to us. You need to submit. To what? To fucking what? What? Submit to what? Before I submit, you know, you say to all of these women, well, y'all don't cook, y'all don't clean, y'all don't do this, y'all don't do that. How do we know you wife material? How the fuck do we know you submit material, nigga? Submit to what? Have you showed yourself to be a submission worthy? Do you show yourself to be a leader? Are you already walking in a lane of being a man that respects himself, that demands respect from other people because of how you carry yourself? See, a man that respects himself is a man that's going to be respected no matter where he go because he ain't going to leave himself in a place where he won't be respected. I, maybe I should say that again. Same thing with women. But we talking to you broke ass niggas who want to take something great in our community and turn it into something small. Respect yourself. And everywhere you go, you will be respected because you will remove yourself from the place that you ain't respected. Submit to you. We don't see you niggas leading nothing. For the niggas who keep saying that, because I know black men that get submitted to all the time. Carry yourself as a man and you can get some submission. But most of the men that get that submission are usually men not begging for it. They're just the men they're supposed to be. And the surprising thing is that, guess what? In real relationships, we submit to one to another. Because for as much of a man as Zeke is, his wife, there's a part that she plays in what they do in the community. There's a part that she plays in her family. And there are certain things that she does that she does greater than he does. And so when it comes to that thing, Zeke is man enough to understand that he picked a good partner. So he trusts in her just like she trusts in him. And there are plenty of damn times that he also allows her to take the lead because what she's doing is what she's best at. Y'all kill me with the submit, 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 submit. When you niggas don't show yourselves worthy to be submitted to. Where you leading us? Where we going? Where the fuck we going? I just don't understand that concept. And I just want to say, I think that shit is really disrespectful and it's very damaging to the black community. We have people that are out here standing up all the time doing the work. Y'all be over here on YouTube running your fucking mouth, getting your goddamn views when there are people that are actually doing the work. They're out here doing the work. And what you don't get to do is shit on the people that are building up their communities, doing the real work within their communities, and then turn it around and spin the narrative to make them be something they're not to feel your broke ass narrative. Because the one thing I noticed for as much as you motherfuckers cry, whether you're a black woman crying about black men or you're a black man crying about black women, I don't see you doing a motherfucking thing to change the thing that seems to bother you so much. I don't see you doing anything to fix it. I see you crying about it. I see you always talking about it. I see you trying to get views off of it. And that goes both ways. You just want somebody to hear your perspective and tell you you're right. So what if I tell you, yes, everything you said was right. Now what? Now what? You don't have no motherfucking uh, 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 options. You don't have anything that we could go and do. Sound like a bunch of motherfuckers who just want to keep complaining. 
See, because for those of us that have these passions and these things that we want to do when it comes to building a black community, we're doing it. Yeah, we talk about the shit that's affecting us, but we're also out there making changes to change the things that affect us. We're not just talking about it. See, because when you're just talking about it, you're just a fucking crying ass motherfucker. Shut up crying, bitch. Maybe that's the first key. See, because anybody that's going to lead me somewhere, I'm going to need you to not be such a crying ass bitch. I'm going to need you to stop crying about everything, sir. I'm going to need you to stop whining about everything, sir. I'm going to need you to go take charge of what's in your control and the shit that's not shut the fuck up about it. Y'all worried about every black woman in the goddamn world and you niggas ain't got a black woman in your house that's having a successful relationship with you. You ought to shut the fuck up. So you have your little dumb ass beefs. Keep talking about black women. Keep motherfucking talking about black men. But what the fuck you won't do not on my watch. You're not going to ever bring your ass up and fix your lips about black men and black women that I work with on a regular basis and know they out here doing something real in the community to make a difference in our community when all you do is run your mouth. You don't get to take what they do and turn it around to be your little scenario so that it can fit your hate that you have towards black women. I think Zeke would be really upset to find out that you're using his narrative to try and talk shit about black women because he don't feel that way about black women. So motherfuckers, speak for yourself. And just say you hate black women and you are broken and hurt and stop trying to use another man to prove your point when that's not that man's point at all. I thought it was very disrespectful. Very disrespectful. I don't think New Era gets enough respect and enough credit like they should. And I just think that it's really fucked up. Let me say this. I'm, I'm going to say this. It's fucked up because for anybody that took that video from New Era and played it talking about they out here simping. And, and turned it around and made it a divisive thing between black men and black women, you ought to be ashamed of your motherfucking self. Because you know what I noticed? For eight years, this man been doing the work. You niggas ain't made no video talking about, check out these brothers who are actually doing the work in their community. Where the fuck is that video, O'Shea? I'm serious. You niggas got something to say when they out there helping the community where was your video to talk about all the shit that they've done you want to give them a back ass handed compliment and by the time you introduce them to your audience you want to introduce them to your audience O'Shea and for the rest of y'all in, in a light where it's like well I don't really know the brothers is all right I mean I'm gonna give them some money but y'all out here simping and but and but and but so this is how you introduce them to your audience with a little bit of a tinge so niggas can look at them like they simps and not want to support you know how many niggas in your chat was like i ain't donating to them them some sense because of how you presented them where the fuck is y'all niggas videos about the work that they doing where's your video about all on black friday while everybody was out motherfucking shopping right monday tuesday said next subject you talking to me is you talking to me Monday, Tuesday, I'm going to give you a few seconds to answer me. And otherwise than that, we just going to block you. Are you talking to me? Okay. Okay. I thought you were. So let me help you out, sweetie. Let me, let, let me help you out Tuesday. Okay. There you go, Tuesday. Now we won't see now we won't we won't see your comments anymore. I don't know if you're new to me. So now I'm gonna take even longer. Like I don't know where you niggas got to go. Michi works for herself. And so I don't have anywhere to be. You know, I can talk all, all night long. You know what I'm saying? So maybe you gotta go to work, but now I'm gonna take even longer to say what I gotta say. Because what you don't do is come into my live and tell me to hurry the fuck up and go to the next, the next, the next subject. Bitch, you could come back, right? If you don't want to hear, go get a glass of water. You know what I'm saying? Go take a piss. Go scratch your ass. Go text your mama or something telling you love her because you're a dumb motherfucker and you done caused her too much heartache in your life. You know what I'm saying? Go do something. Go check on your kids. Ask them how they homework doing. I don't know. Go do something, bitch. Make a sandwich and then come back. But I don't, I, for the understand, I don't understand for the life of me how y'all come into people's chats and say, oh, well, next subject. I'm going to cover the subject till I think the subject is thoroughly covered. How about that? Y'all kill me with that shit. Come into somebody else's goddamn live and tell them what the fuck they should be doing and what they shouldn't be doing. Like y'all do realize, see, this is what I mean. And I'm guaranteeing you, from my understanding of psychology, the name Monday, Tuesday, I'm guaranteeing you that's probably a man, right? And it's always you men. 
It's always you men. What is that? That submission thing? Because you the man, you want to come here and tell me to be quiet and I should listen to you? Shut the fuck up and go get your own channel. Most of you motherfuckers that, that want this submission, like you motherfuckers in the goddamn chat want somebody to listen to you, it's because you have no power. Bitch, don't try and ride my power. Go get your own. Because you a nobody, you want me to bow down to your standards. Let me tell you something Monday, Tuesday, because you can you can listen, but you can't talk no more. You can, you can be here and listen, but I type something. I dare you. Ha! Put it in there. Let's see if it come up. Go ahead. Everybody wait for Monday, Tuesday to type something. Monday, Tuesday, got to go create another troll account real quick. <laughs> They'll be back. We'll see you in a few minutes, bitch. I, my blocking finger work, I got time. I told you. And my moderators be on. If I tell them to hit them up, they're going to start blocking all of y'all, and then I'm going to have to apologize because they're going to they gonna, they gonna block some of the wrong people. Y'all funny, though. Move on to the next subject. Why? Is something I'm saying bothering you? Y'all better be glad I got other people in here because I swear to God, I am my live right here. This is all we're going to talk about is O'Shea Duke Jackson. We'll talk about the next subject next week. <laughs> but we not. We're going to talk about it tonight. But I'm going to do it in my own time. Y'all better shut up. I might, see, y'all going to keep playing with me. I'm going to take an apple juice break. I'm going to go downstairs and come. Hey, y'all niggas going to be looking at these lights. Just the longest y'all heard me say and not say nothing, huh? <laughs> I'm just I'm just reading chat. I'm I'ma slow it down, take my time now. Feel like I was moving too fast in life. I'm getting older, I gotta take my time, enjoy every every moment I have left. Cause I done hit the wall and I'm an old bitch according to you niggas. <laughs> Let me call that stairs and see if Rima bring me some apple juice upstairs. <laughs> Let me say this. Let me say this about, about them comments y'all said in there. Yes, I'm laughing at these men talk about submission and providing. Y'all is right. Let me tell you one thing I think is crazy. I'm going to just throw this out there. <laughs> Go back to O'Shea. Why do y'all think that we supposed to submit to y'all all of the time? And they be like, we protect and we provide. Okay, so realistically, y'all, how many motherfucking relationships, just average relationships, how many of y'all think these men is providing? No, like you the sole provider. Raise your hand. Ain't nobody gonna raise their hand because just about every motherfucker in this chat, your bills get paid because you and your woman go to work. Y'all both pay them bills together. So I'm gonna need y'all to find another argument because if you finna tell me that I have to submit to everything you say, like I'm okay with submission. We submit one to another, but nigga, you don't know everything. The fuck? I was married for 15 years and you know what my husband did not know how to handle money. We would have been broke, never had shit, wouldn't have no groceries because he just don't budget. He let money burn a hole through his pocket. I was better at that. That's right. So he submitted to me when it came to the finances. That's why bills was paid. Food was on the table. We ended up owning a house, paid off his credit because he wouldn't have did none of that shit on his own. Y'all just sound stupid. And I hope y'all know that I say this from a woman that was married for 15 years. No matter what I got, it all belonged to my household. No matter what he got, it all belonged to the household. There were times I worked too, right? So y'all say this like, and the funny thing is, I was actually more of a stay-at-home mom than I real than I've seen most women be. Like I really spent a lot of my that 15 years at home. I didn't have to go out to work. But we had some struggling times, but I was able to raise my kids. But when I was in between having babies, oh, there were times I had jobs. And every time I got a check, my check went to the house too. And I would work all day and he would work all day. And when we came home, we was both tired as fuck. But I'm supposed to cook and clean because that's your standard for me? No, sometimes I cooked and he cleaned. Y'all just sound dumb. Sometimes he gave the kids the bath and I'm the one that had to go do their hair after that. Well, after that, send him upstairs, let me do the kids' hair. Like y'all just sound dumb. Ain't none of you niggas screaming, we protect and provide. You're not providing by yourself, so please shut up. You niggas think you could go to work, and as soon as you get off work, your job is done. But our job is supposed to forever go on. Everything that happens with the kids, we have to take care of. We got to cook, we got to clean, and we got to pay the rest of these bills because your job doesn't make enough by itself, motherfucker. I'm the provider. Well, I could have swore I paid the light bill last month, babe. <laughs> I could have swore I paid the light bill last month. 
Yes or no? Come on now. So it's your turn to submit to me. Okay, go to the kitchen, give me some apple juice and two more tacos. <laughs> y'all just be saying some unrealistic shit. And it's funny to me because half y'all that say it, you've never fucking been married. You niggas ain't been in relationships longer than a, a six months, a year. You niggas going on two years. Y'all like, ooh, this is a long time. Please shut the fuck up. Have you niggas have no women, you have no wives, you don't have a family, you don't know what any of that is even about, okay? That just sounds stupid to the people who are in real relationships and have real fucking marriages. We work together. It's a partnership. I give 100%. He gives 100%, right? We work together. There's a goal and we get it done, period. That's how it works. You niggas don't know that. Y'all all be dreaming, thinking y'all all of a sudden going to win the lottery and you just, I think men think like they go to work and they come home, they want to put on a robe and have a fancy cigar and be like, bring me my food, bitch. And you're supposed to have it for a golden platter waiting for them. The kids should be all clean. The house should be sparkling and you should just, you know, be in a Beyonce gown every night he come home. Nigga, life ain't like that. Who lied to your ass? I've been cleaning up this motherfucking house all day, okay? So I'm still in my jogging pants. My hair is back in a ponytail, but the house is clean, okay? I paid all the bills and I have cooked dinner. There is a, a pot roast in there, mashed potatoes that did not come out of a motherfucking box. It's a salad in there that I made. I baked the cake because, you know, the baby got an award at school today. So I figured we could celebrate after dinner. And then after we all eat and they're full and they go to bed and the kids go do their homework and he kicks up his feet, you know who the fuck going back in the kitchen? Me. To clean it up. Y'all just sound crazy. Y'all do. Real relationships don't work that way. That's why I laugh when y'all say that dumb shit. So back to O'Shea Duke Jackson. Again, I think that it is fucked up because I didn't forget where I was on Monday, Tuesday. Now Monday, Tuesday, you're going to wait. It's going to be, it's going to be, you have to add Wednesday to your name before I finish this live. <laughs> Okay, okay. Anyway, the point I seriously want to make, for any of y'all that was out there and made a video about New Era Detroit, I just really think that that shit is fucked up because I have noticed that for as much work as they have been out there doing, O'Shea Duke Jackson and none of these other people, you will take what they're doing and you didn't even really understand what they were doing. It wasn't a program to pump gas and carry groceries. It was actually them patrolling the community. And when they get to a location, if they see people had groceries or people wanted to pump gas, it was cold. So they were doing it for the elderly, the women, the young people and stuff like that. Y'all just happened to get a glimpse of them and y'all said it like if it was a program, like they said, yes, we're going to go carry people's groceries. That was just a byproduct of what they were already out there doing. Do y'all get get that right? So this is the thing. How do you take that situation and turn it into a negative? But then at the same time, you know, O'Shea knows that he has this audience of men who are mostly from the manosphere, right? And so you, you paint them out to be simps and you tell them they're out there trying to gain back respect from Black women when that's not actually what the fuck they were doing. And when you do that, then you turn around and put their cash app in there. How you think them brothers gonna feel? Do you think you think them brothers helped them because they think they some sense, according to you, nigga? But you didn't take your platform and you didn't put a video up about all the work that they're doing. When they've done so much stuff, they've been on the news left and right. They're in 16 cities. New Era has done so many things for the community. You could just Google their name. Their work speaks for itself. And I just think that it's a damn shame that you haven't used your video or your platforms to make a video and show them in a positive light. You use it, twist what they're doing for a negative narrative that fits your bullshit ass talking points when that's not what they were doing at all. So I think it was disrespectful, but that's a big part. That's a problem in the community. And we're going somewhere because that leads us into this next conversation, right? But it's just disregarding. Do we see how much the shit that we do tears down our own community? Like when it's a nigga like O'Shea and other people who are co-signing this bullshit, you're basically disregarding the organizations. You do know that we have to rally behind them and we have to give them support because in doing that, that shows the enemy that we are, are unified. I get tired of niggas talking about unity and we don't understand how to get to unity or what unity really is. We're not unified if you got to come out here and talk down on what black men are doing for your point. All you do is hurt it. And they sit back and say, well, it must not be shit because the black man said that it's not shit. They're going to use what it is that you said out of your black mouth to try and put a stamp of approval on it and say, well, if the black man said it about the other black man, it must be true. See, because you can't call that racist. 
but you're using the white man's talking points about everything that you fucking say. That shit is damaging to our community and you're not helping our community. So I would like to say to O'Shea Duke Jackson, because he gave that little fake ass motherfucking, oh, you know, I'm down and they nice and eh, whatever the fuck she said. So I'm going to challenge your ugly ass, O'Shea. Go do a real video on New Era Detroit. Go talk about all of the shit that they've done, all of the, the ways they've made their community much safer. While y'all talking about all these police shootings, they're out there every day when babies are being shot by other black people. You know how you have that conversation about our communities. Well, they're out there doing something about it. So go and do a story on that. And ask your people to support black men who are actually taking the lead in the charge in their community and have all the respect in the world that you niggas don't have. That's why you hurting right now, because you wish you had an ounce of fucking respect that new era have in their communities. 16 cities across the nation. They can go any one of them and have all the respect in the world. You on YouTube with all these followers and you still don't get no respect with your ugly ass. That's your problem. Insecurities, baby. Go see Dr. Sean and get you some counseling. Maybe you'll be all right. Okay.